it's time to take another Northern Ontario road trip. And it's really big. Wow. Holy doodle. A sign, top of the stairs. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you ready for a One Minute Wednesday? I am. Are you? I am. It's Wednesday, but where are we? We're in Kenora, Ontario. Oh, great! Way, 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 way upper northwest of the province. And it's a big province, too. So this is a One Minute Wednesday. At a historical location, but more about that later. One cash. One minute. Cue the title. Start the clock. Go! <laughs> so what did the hint say? It said it's not in the wall and it's not in the rocks. Well, thank goodness. I hate rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's further down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's down there. Yeah, I think you you're think? right. Yeah, I think you gotta, we got to go over the wall to get this one. Yeah, I think where you are is good because it says about three meters from here. Yeah, and it's not on the wall. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh look, there's rock. Maybe it's under here. No. Oh, look at this rock. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that gets a favorite. Oh, absolutely. Holy doodle. A very clever hide. Yeah, that is a super cool one. I don't, it must have been a dynamite mark in the rock yeah. or something. We got it in three, two, two one. one, done. That was a fantastic cash. Oh, that was amazing. Wasn't expecting that at all. Nope. It was a three and a half two, and uh, it, it had uh, 40 sums favorite points. Yeah. So if that was in the States, that would have garnered way more favorite points. Well, there's more people yeah, there. Yeah, so anyway, we came here mainly because I was interested in the historical location mm -hmm. for this one. This is a major part of Canada's history was happening right in this area, so hey, Thanks for joining us. And look, we'll, we'll look at the history for this. Just hang with us for a sec, then we'll leave you. In August 1870, a force of British regulars and Canadian militia comprising some 1,200 men, commanded by Colonel Garnett Wolseley, arrived in this area en route to the Red River to establish Canadian authority within the province of Manitoba. The previous year, the Hudson's Bay Company had agreed to transfer control of its western territories to Canada, and some local inhabitants, fearing loss of their lands and interference with their mode of existence, had set up provisional government under Louis Riel to press their claims on the Dominion. The expedition had disembarked at Prince Arthur's Landing on Lake Superior, and traveling by land and water reached Fort Garry on August 24th. Louis Riel was a major historical figure for Canadian history. When we studied history, Louis Riel was considered a criminal. Today, they're looking at the history more correctly and, and seeing that he was just looking after his people and the look of history is evolving. Thanks for joining us. And we hope you enjoyed that little bit of our history. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you? you.